Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today I'm actually out in Northern California. I'm with my brother Brian and we are headed out on Lake Berryessa. Come along, it should be a really fun day. Today we've got a short day. We've got about a half a day we're going to fish out here, but Berryessa is an amazing fishery, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, the water has recently come back up to full pool, and there's a lot more debris, grass, trees that have grown up, things in the water than there have been historically. So today should be really fun. We're gonna run around, see if we can get a reaction bite early, maybe find fish feeding on outside points, something like that. But as soon as that sun gets up, it's gonna be in the 90s here quick. As soon as that sun is up, we'll start, we're gonna focus on the shallow fish because that's the part of this lake that has changed. That's the part that, that seems like it'll be really fun. Uh, so fishing around cover, hopefully drawing fish out of shadow those catching those shallow fish. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get fishing. He's a start, we'll take him. Okay. Nice spot. Here. <laughs> he hit it on. There he is. A little bald eagle. Oh, that's a strong fish. Can come under you? Yeah. That's fun right there. Oh, that's a good one. Look at the ones with him. Look at them all. Beautiful. That one ate our tactical underspin. There was a Kitek on that. Beautiful fish. Get him? Nice. Oh, look at the ones with him. Let me see if I can get one of them. Look at them all. That one's a yeah, that one, big one. That really right? big. Oh, that's a, it's a, um, pike maybe? Yep. No, you're good. You're good. I'm in there. Oh, yeah. Nope, they don't want it. Nice fish. Beautiful spot. This fish had half a dozen fish that came up with it, including a great big Sacramento pike. Just slow rolling the underspin underneath these bait balls. This bite won't be here for very long. The second this sun is up, and I mean maybe 15 minutes, this bite's over. But it's fun while it lasts. So we've got a couple distinct patterns today. We've got a handful of spotted bass already. We're catching them on the little underspin, either with the Kitek or with the Exxon Swammer. This time of year, you've got, on this lake in particular, you've got spots, smallmouth, and largemouth. The spotted bass love to school on outside points, offshore structures, uh, and they will ambush aggressively first thing in the morning, and then after that, they just become ghosts. If you run into them, it's almost at random. But first thing, you can target them. Now, we got a little bit of a late start today, honestly, because I almost came out here without a fishing license. I forgot and had to double back and get one. 
Uh, but these spotted bass, we've got a super short window. It may already be over, but we're gonna hit one or two more points, hopefully get another one or two. And then we're completely shifting gears. After that, we leave outside points. We start talking backs of pockets, heavy cover, uh, top water flukes, uh, maybe a Senko, I don't know, but we'll fish heavy cover, just depends on the fish's mood, specifically targeting largemouth. Of course, we'll take whatever bites, but that should be a much more largemouth focused pattern. I'm not sure that's the whole thing. Yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you see how far he came from? Yeah. I burned it all the way back. He still came another 10 yards and hit it. Crazy. He choked that thing. Absolutely inhaled it. We shifted gears to largemouth. Throwing the fluke. Now that one's, that's not actually a fluke. You know, the fluke is an entire category, soft jerk baits. And the zoom super fluke dominates the category. But there are a bunch of other options. This one is from X-Zone. Tons of salt, sinks super fast compared to a fluke and has a much more rhythmic action action to it there's a bunch of different soft jerk baits that do different things in that fluke category but it is such a fun way to fish there he is. You got him. it's a whole pack of them there's another four or five of them right there. Hey, buddy. Man, I watched him come out and smash it. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> Too fun. <laughs> so it it's practically an aquarium in here crystal clear water slick calm as you can see these fish are just looking at us and we're looking at them they were following the fluke over and over so i switched up to the karashi super light line i'm throwing six pound line on the bait caster Bait finesse. I think it took four casts to get that to work. So much fun. Nice fish. Not bad. Not bad at all. Feel that one. Sure. <laughs> he was coming this way. <laughs> My brother got that one. Throwing the tube. buddy. Well, that explains why he missed the first time. Little guy. But they all count. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah, they just don't want it. That one did. That fish ate almost straight up and down under the boat. They're super negative. They're in a funk. That fish followed up. I let that, I say fluke, but it's not. I let this guy sink down in there. He's got a really cool action where this tail sort of undulates. It'll tuck under and the bait will just sort of drift. Very different action. He just cruised up, and just sucked that thing in. <laughs> on a spinning rod. A frogfish on a spinning rod. Adapted, and it's our best fish of the day by far. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Okayara, look at that. My brother comes through with big fish of the day. We did not come prepared for frogging, but he had a frog with him. Tied it on the stoutest spinning rod in the boat. Got the best fish of the day. That's awesome. There you go. Six pounds in the trees. That rod is so light. Just trying to adapt to the circumstances. I took off the big bait, went down to this little jackal soft jerk bait. Six pound line, I put it on the bait finesse setup. Bait finesse, fluke fishing, too fun. Man, that is fun. He's got me so folded up. Just needed that smaller bait. Another one on that rhythm wag. That's called a freebie right there. My brother saw that one move water. I threw in there and got him. All right, guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up with that one. Today has been fun. It has not been a slam dunk. We did not catch a giant, but it is so fun. Well, one, to fish with my brother. And two, to be back on one of my favorite fisheries. This is one of the places that I've guided for a very long time. But as you know, I'm located in Tennessee now, so I have not been out here for quite a while. Our plan was catch those offshore aggressive feeding fish in the morning if they existed, which they did. We caught some beautiful spots right out the gate. And then we figured with the sun getting up high, I mean, it's baking now. Uh, and those offshore fish, they'll get out on the color lines, but they shut down, you really gotta finesse them. And with just a half day, that's not that fun of a way to fish. So we transitioned to chasing largemouth, coming into these pockets, fishing grass in the water, trees in the water, throwing it any shadow. You know, the higher that sun gets, the hotter it gets. Those fish pull right into the shadows, they get really predictable. It's so slick, calm that on this particular day, they're still hard to get them to eat. I'll bet we've had 10 fish follow a fluke or a karashi or a topwater for every one that has actually bitten. Um, but the pattern is super predictable. We've been able to convert enough of them to have a really fun time. 
Um, you know, the only other thing is gear. My brother's got a bunch of really nice setup, so I've used some of his gear today, but you know I also never travel without my own gear. So I'm traveling with travel rods, like I always do. Yep. Mega Mass Valkyrie series, Shimano Zodius. If you're not familiar, these are multi, <laughs> they're so hot I can't get them apart right now. These are multi-piece travel rods. Then I break down, stick in a little tiny tube. My rod tube is like this long and I carry it on the airplane wherever I'm going and I take it as my personal item. I don't even check it. That way everywhere I go, I always know I've got my rods with me. Super fun. Down in the video description, I'll link the gear we were throwing, uh, the flukes, underspin, some of the top water, the Karashi, as well as some of the really cool combos we are using today. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.